welcome to our channel blender tips in this tutorial you will learn that how we can create this beautiful grass cutting animation in blender in blender we use different properties to create this animation this is the plane and uh, we can grow the grass particle by using particle physics properties and uh, this cube is act like a cutting object to create this cross cut animation and we also use dynamic paint properties to create this grass cutting animation so have a look see the how it's look like in render view so let's start First, I open the blender, select all and delete everything. Press shift A to add a plane and scale it. Enter into the edit mode and subdivide this plane up to number of times. Now I create a vertex groups for this plane, press A to select all and object data properties, I add a vertex groups and rename it grass and assign. Now deselect everything and add another vertex groups and rename it cutting and also assign it now back to the object mode and uh, now press shift a to add a cube and uh, press 7 in front view and also decrease the size of this cube Press 1 to move it along Z axis, something like here and now move this cube something like here. Now I assign some keyframe to animate this cube as a cutting object and this plane is uh, used as a grass objects so press i to insert a keyframe and move to keyframe number 40 and move this along x axis something like here and also assign a keyframe now move to the 100 keyframe and move this cube along y axis <coughs> sorry something like here and insert a keyframe and then move to 140 and then now move this cube something like here and insert keyframe and reduce the keyframe up to 140 beautiful now check the animation it's working now select this plane and in physics tab I assign a dynamic paint plane and now the type is canvas and add canvas and uh, here I select the weights and uh, in output I select cutting nice now select this cube and 
also assign a dynamic paint and now the type is brush add brush and here I select this option and uh, here I select color ramp and here decrease this value something like here now enter into the wet paint mode and now you can see it's working well now back to the object mode and I grow some grass particle to this plane for that purpose I enter into the particle properties here I assign some particle system and types here and uh, decrease the height of these particles something like here and also increase the number up to 5000 and uh, now enter into the children here I select enter collected beautiful and in vertex groups in length I select grass <coughs> and uh, now to make this uh, real time grass for that purpose I add some brownonian something like here and uh, in roughness I change this value and point something like and also randomize it now it's look like real now it's time to add material and uh, for material I have an asset browser from here I select my asset browser and here the type choose grass and select this grass beautiful and uh, for cube I add some other material like metal material here is the metals and select this material to view this material we enter into the material viewport and here you can see the material which we applied and uh, for rendering for lighting I select an HDRI lighting to this scene for that I have some HDRI lighting I add this lighting beautiful to make back to the timeline to make this uh, background transparent I enter into the render properties and here I select film and check this transparent option <coughs> you can see that the numbers of hair particles grass are too much low because in particle properties we see that the display amount is 
10% and render amount is 100% and if I increase then you can see the number of particles are increased and uh, if you select render cycle then you can see this look like a, a real grass so I select again 10 to work easy with viewport and now I run the animation and check the result you can see that there is no grass cutting and for that I enter into the material properties and in material properties I add uh, some modifier to this plane so add modifier and here I choose vertex weight mix modifier and uh, in vertex groups A I select grass and in vertex group B I select cutting and here I choose V group a and in replace I select subtract and also move this vertex weight mix modifier above the particle system and now you can see it's working well So, in this way, you can easily create a grass cutting in Blender by using particle properties and weight paint properties to create this beautiful animation. Thanks for watching.